On this episode of the 1836 podcast, we talk about the discovery of Arkansas, the Louisiana Purchase, the Arkansas Territory, and Arkansas officially becoming a state. Episode 1 establishes the foundation for future content, filled with captivating history, events, tales, folklore, notable figures, and compelling interviews. Hello, I'm Nathan Rogers. I'm Joe Batterton, and welcome to the 1836 Podcast. This is the podcast about all things Arkansas, Uh, hence the name 1836, the year that Arkansas became a state. Uh, We're going to be talking about basically all things Arkansas. It can be, uh, as, as the name says, it's 1836, roots and branches, so it'll primarily focus on Arkansas events, Arkansas people, Arkansas dialect foods, uh, music, anything that you can think of that's affiliated with Arkansas or roots and branches such as, you know, crossing over into Missouri, Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, all these states around us that are directly connected to us. Famous athletes, entrepreneurs. Um, Um, Probably start off um, talking about where we're from, our local history, Marion County, and then Spread out and talk about Yellville, Flippin', Bull Shoals, Bruno, Payette, uh, some other little communities that no longer exist and some schools that no longer exist. And like Joe said, that's our roots. And then we're going to branch out, talk some more about the rest of the state of Arkansas and uh, the Ozarks. And there's there's a lot of really unique events and uh, people from Arkansas. Uh, there's a lot of little factoids that people don't know about, uh, things that have changed the world, really. Um, like I said, you know, we'll be we'll be talking about uh, Ozark-centric foods, uh, dialect things that uh, things that people say here that they don't say uh, everywhere else in the United States or the world. Well, I can't wait to talk about some some lesser-known things that are very interesting things. And we're going to cover the Everett Tut War, uh, which I wrote a book about. You can check it out on Amazon.com. You wrote a book. Yeah. And um, things like Bell Star and uh, some other things that it's awesome, amazing, interesting stories. But a lot of civil, a lot of Civil War stuff. Uh, the Ozarks and, and the Missouri Arkansas border region was uh, it's kind of a kind of a no man's land. There was a lot of a lot of awful, tragic things, but really exciting things happened here too. A lot of folklore, uh, ghost stories. Stories about boogers and haints and White River monsters and Bobby Creek monster. The Ozark Howler. Can't wait to talk about some of the early pioneers and settlers here in the area. We'll talk about some, we'll do some turnbow stories and what Joe said, stories, folklore, and about some interesting people and interesting places. If you're from Arkansas, you'll really appreciate what we're talking about. If you're not from Arkansas, you might find out that it's a, it's a way cooler place than you ever thought it was. Uh, we've we've got everything from Babe Ruth and the Yankees doing spring training camp in Hot Springs to Al Capone and his cronies holding up down there. Uh, all of the resort towns like Eureka Springs, uh, where people came for the healing waters and the baths. Uh, civil rights stuff that happened all over the state. Uh, there's there's things that, that were happening in Arkansas that were groundbreaking that, that, that wasn't happening in other places. Uh, rock and roll history. People don't realize how much of the roots of rock and roll and, uh, and early country music came from Arkansas. Uh, Delta blues music. Uh, it just goes on and on. There's just so many things that uh, that came out of Arkansas that, that we're really excited about talking about. Some Wild West legends, Bass Reeves. Yeah, the whole Fort Smith thing. I mean, that was that was frontier at its finest. Uh, you know, things like uh, Bill Hickok's shootout in Springfield. Really, that that was like the first high noon uh, shootout in Wild West history, and it just it kind of became a legend from there, and it was repeated over and over in movies and in books, and uh, that all happened right here in our area. So, uh, you know, without further ado, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have our friend Art. We have a, a third party uh, on this podcast. His name's Artie. His last name's Fischl. He will be doing a lot of narration for us. And uh, once we get started, you'll hear him talk a little bit. 
and then we will uh, kind of talk about what he talked about. Yeah, you know, uh, kind of give our take on it, and uh, he's going to throw the facts out for you, and we're going to we're going to try to decipher some of that stuff. I will tell you this first episode. This is not uh, how it normally will be. This is not our setup, and uh, I know it's going to be a little rough. We are in Arkansas, but we're in an undisclosed location in Arkansas. So Very we're, undisclosed. We're not in our home in our home base right now, but. But yeah, this is this is just to kind of give everybody an idea of what we're all about and what this is going to be about. So we're going to try to have some fun with it and uh, come up with some stuff every week that uh, is just. Uh, hopefully, you'll be you'll be excited just to tune in to see what we're gonna what we're gonna bring up. So like I said, we're gonna try to do a word of the week, uh, maybe a, a food or a recipe, superstition, uh, superstition. Uh, it could it could be anything. Uh, as we as we end, Artie's going to lead us out and kind of tell you how Arkansas came about, who discovered it, uh, some of the indigenous people that was originally here, and how we became a state in the year of 1836, hence the name of our podcast. And like you said earlier, we're going to have a, a word of the week. Do you have a word for this week? Yes, I do. The word is a fixin', and we're a fixin' to get out of here and uh, let you let you watch this little tidbit about uh, the early history of Arkansas. Remember, check us out, YouTube iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts, we're probably there. And we're fixing to have a lot of fun with this, so so stay stay tuned, and uh, we look forward to seeing you the next time. In the year 1541, a man of determination and grit arrived on the banks of a great river known to the native tribes as Mississippi, or the ancient father of waters. This daring explorer was none other than the Spanish conquistador, Hernando de Soto. His arrival marked the first time that many believe a European had set foot in what we now know as Arkansas. On May 31, 1542, Hernando de Soto died after contracting a fever, in a Native American village most likely located around modern-day Lake Village in Chico County, Arkansas. After he passed, his body was then allegedly placed into the Mississippi River, in the middle of the night. The name Arkansas, which we know today is derived from the Quapaw word Akakaz, meaning land of downriver people. A name that was pronounced by the French as Arkansas, which later morphed into the word Arkansas, ultimately becoming the state's official name. For countless generations, the Caddo, Osage, and Quapaw tribes had called this land home. The name Arkansas is a testament to the deep connection that its people have with their land, and its indigenous people. It reminds them of the long and fascinating history that has shaped their identity. In the early 1800s, the United States was expanding rapidly, and Arkansas found itself at the center of this expansion. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803 marked a significant turning point in the region's history, as the vast territory that included present-day Arkansas was transferred from France to the United States. The purchase cost the United States $15 million, and it doubled the size of the country overnight. The Louisiana Territory was a largely unexplored and unknown area, and it took several years for the new American government to organize and establish control over the region. However, the Louisiana Purchase set the stage for the next few decades of growth and development in Arkansas. In 1819, Arkansas became a part of the Missouri Territory, which encompassed present-day Missouri, Arkansas, Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. The territory was eventually divided into two parts, with Arkansas becoming a separate territory in 1819. The Arkansas Territory included much of present-day Oklahoma, as well as parts of Missouri and Kansas. The territory's rapid growth and development were aided by the construction of infrastructure, such as roads and ports, which made it easier for people and goods to move into and out of the area. The discovery of gold in neighboring states in the early 1800s also brought settlers and prospectors to the region, further fueling its growth. The land's early years as a territory were marked by growth and development, as well as struggles with Native American tribes and tensions over the issue of slavery. However, the Louisiana Purchase and the establishment of the Arkansas Territory set the stage for Arkansas to become a vital part of the growing United States. During the territorial period, Arkansas was a frontier region, 
and it attracted settlers and pioneers from all over the world. Many of these early settlers came from the southern United States, particularly from Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia. Others came from Europe, including Germany, Ireland, and Scotland. Some settlers were attracted by the fertile land and abundant natural resources, while others saw opportunities to make a fresh start in life. The early settlers faced many challenges, including harsh weather, disease, and the threat of attack from Native American tribes. They built homes, farms, and ways of commerce, often in remote areas that were difficult to reach. Many early pioneers were farmers who relied on the rich soil to grow crops. Others were trappers for meat and fur, but all used the abundant natural resources of the region to survive. As settlers arrived in Arkansas, conflicts arose over issues like land ownership and political power. Many settlers wanted to own land, but there were disputes over who had the right to claim it. Despite these challenges, the early settlers and pioneers of Arkansas were determined to build a new, and better life, for themselves and their families. They worked hard to create a diverse and vibrant society, one that reflected the many cultures and traditions of the people who lived there. The road to statehood for Arkansas was a long and challenging one. The debate over whether Arkansas should become a state had been ongoing since the early 1820s. But it wasn't until 1836, that the population of the territory had grown to a level that made statehood a viable option. On June 15, 1836, Arkansas was finally admitted to the Union as the 25th state, marking a significant milestone in the state's history. The state's constitution was written and adopted in 1836, and it established the government and legal system, that would govern Arkansas for many years to come. The constitution was heavily influenced by the United States Constitution, and it included many of the same principles and protections. It established a bicameral legislature, a governor as the chief executive, and a state supreme court. It also included provisions for public education, a system of courts, and protections for individual rights. However, the road to statehood was not without its challenges. One of the major issues that had to be addressed was the question of boundaries. There was ongoing debate over the northern boundary of the state, which was eventually resolved in 1846, with the establishment of the current boundary with Missouri. Additionally, there were political battles over issues like slavery and representation, which would continue to be major points of tension in the state, for many years to come. Despite these challenges, the people of Arkansas were proud to have achieved statehood, and were eager to begin a new era of growth and prosperity. Thank you to everyone who has tuned in to listen to this episode of the 1836 podcast. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Leaving a good rating and review on your preferred podcast platform would also help us reach a wider audience. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode, where we will continue to explore the roots and branches of Arkansas, and the fascinating history of the Ozarks.